Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So uh, this is your general, your general love reading for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, and of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that. That will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. If, as I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. Okay, and of course, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up, there we go. On your story, you know, you can stick around as sometimes there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak and speak to you. And as I always say, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. Okay. So give me a moment. Yes. Finish laying this card. I'm going to take these in. One there. I'm going to take these in and I'll be back. All right, so Libra, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. We can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay. And of course, um, if this doesn't resonate with you guys, you can always feel free to check out your other readings in the uh, corner, which should be pinned in the corner as I speak. And also, as you can see, there's extra cards. I just needed to clarify some of these cards. Okay. All right. So let's start from the past. So I like to start from the past just to get an idea of where you guys are coming from. And we do have that Hermit card, which represents to me that you guys are there's some quiet period here. Um, you guys are coming, are coming from a quiet period where maybe you both, maybe there was some drama and some conflict that needed to just be, uh, maybe the dust needed to be settled. Uh, maybe you both needed to just digest what had gone down or what uh, maybe each other said or things that had come up. But there's this quiet period around me. For you, there is this acknowledgement because you're coming up as, um, and this is your thinking position, you're coming up as uh, the three of cups. So there's something around a third person or a third energy. Um, doesn't have to be a person, but there is this acknowledgement of a third person or a third energy. And that third energy or person is an interference in this in some way, shape or form. I'm not sure whether it's coming from your end or coming from their end. I feel like it's coming from your end, but I'm not sure it can come from either or. But there is this um, wanting to do something different, wanting to change or go down a new path. You have a strong attraction, a physical attraction towards this person, and you're wanting to advance that. Um, but again, there is this acknowledgement of a third energy in some way, shape or form. You want an opportunity to build something with the ace of pentacles there. But like you've had some form of foundation that's already been laid with this person to some degree. That foundation could be anything. That foundation could be just having, you know, long conversations on the phone or maybe met, met up a few times in the connection or the, just the understanding that you both had has caused this comfortability between the both of you. But with that came a decision. It's like for you, there was a decision that was made around, uh, during that time. It's like, okay, kind of see this person, who they are, you know, I'm kind of getting on with this person. This person feels good to me. We've established something. So there was a decision made based on that. Maybe that decision is, you know, I actually like this person. But we do have the Hermit card there. Something you had to process. You know, there's questions around that that needed answering for you. Maybe that's just coming from, you know, you. Based on maybe your situation with this third energy. If that's the case. Your person. Your person, yeah. There's acknowledgement of a strong attraction towards you as well with the lovers coming up in their thinking uh, acknowledging that there is a positive impact 
in some way that you've had on their life or that you do have on their life with the sun card there. But there is this queen of swords and this emperor card, which talks about I'm needing to kind of put up my boundaries or hope, you know, draw my swords a bit or maybe keep this person at a distance to a degree. There's adamant, this adamant, them being adamant around that as well, the emperor. So it seems like maybe this person, again, if it's going back to this third energy, this third person or third party, yes, there's strong attraction towards you. Yes, there's acknowledgement that you have a positive impact on them and in their life in some way. But because of your situation, maybe they can't act on it or they shouldn't act on it. So they're adamant about not moving things forward or not um, you know, putting down their boundaries too too much. There is this processing as well. So that kind of mirrors that. It's this needing to process this. I needing to process my emotions. I'm needing to think about this. It's weighing a bit heavy, maybe because I've caught some feelings. Uh, so I'm feeling kind of burdened by this, maybe because I've not come across someone who I connect with in that way. Um, and I want to, I'm, want, I'm wanting victory, but there's frustration there. There's frustration there. Maybe that also displays that there's been some form of conflict in the past prior to this uh, here. Which brings us to where we are at the moment, which is the six. So there is this moving forward, this moving out of this funny space that you was in. And it's now kind of moving forward, leaving that behind or attempted to. It's like you're at the beginning stages of being able to do that. You're wanting to, you, this is them. There, or this could be you if you're resonating with this side, uh, Libra, but they're showing up as the temperance, which talks about wanting to put something into balance, bring balance and harmony back into this situation. And you're showing up as, you know, okay, so this is, you know, embracing the opportunity, this opportunity that you're in now to create something new, whatever that new is, that could just be simply moving from the next one stage to the next. That could be, yeah, whatever that new is for you. You're thinking long-term. There is long-term on your mind, though, Libra, with the uh, Six of Cups there. There's definitely long-term on there. There is this acknowledgement that you... Ah, okay. This risk towards this emotion. Because you want to take a risk on this. You're wanting to take a risk on this. There is this naivety around that. That Maybe that represents naivety around this in some way because uh, you are thinking long term with the six of cups uh, there's emotional connection that you've either established already that all that you think that you could actually have with this person a deep emotional connection as well a lot of passion a lot of desire there but your challenge is taking a risk on this your, t your challenge is taking a risk on this we'll get to that in a minute yeah your person it's like they're wanting to put harmony back into this or they're showing up as you know, being a bit more, how do I put that? It's not being a bit more balanced. Yeah, I could say that. You guys might can resonate with that. Maybe showing up as being a bit more balanced or um, willing, willing to uh, maybe make peace or make things okay. But we do have the Emperor card again. There's this adamant, them being adamant about holding back them being animate about yeah holding back because there's understanding we've got the four of, of pentacles which is you know holding back um but there is this level of emo emotional maturity that they have around this with the queen of of cups there so they could be also focusing on work as well that could just represent them having the need to put in work in order for them to be adamant about not you know Maybe letting you in too much or going full throttle with this situation. Yeah. You know, something's preventing, there's a third energy here that's an interference in preventing this from moving forward. This person is definitely acknowledging that. Um, yeah, because they've got in their challenge is that emotional, that ten of cups that talks about emotional fulfillment. You know, the opportunity to create something new, the opportunity to actually you know, embrace that. But again, this is their challenge. Not being able to see or choosing to not see and it being challenging. This being challenging. 
there's been challenges around this. Yeah, so not being able to see how this can happen. Not being able to see how this could happen. Hence why the boundaries are going up, keeping you at a distance, if that's, you know, they're displaying it in that way. Not being so forthcoming. Your challenges is actually taking a risk on this. You're wanting to give to this. Um, yeah. There's something that you're not, you're, you're, you're not wanting to face or you feel very uncomfortable facing. It might be. And that's, then that's the, the, that again, that's the challenge, isn't it? This is your challenge and taking a risk on this in order for you to be able to feed this, give to this, take action on this. But we've got that not being able to face something or fear and face something or fear and face fear. Speak. There's an uncomfortability around this. Maybe it's to do with you maybe letting someone know or letting something go or letting someone know that you no longer are interested in them or there's something around you feeling uncomfortable about facing something. Yeah, you're wanting to move things ahead quickly, but we got that eight of swords, which talks about being up in your head, being trapped. Again, I feel like it's tied back to this three of cups. This again, facing something, um, yeah, up in your head. You're wanting to move forward. You're wanting to kind of maybe take a risk or move into this. Maybe you already have a lot of love for this person. For some of you, you can't, you do. But again, it's this facing something. So you're wanting to move things forward quickly, but you're trapped. You're in your head thinking, 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 thinking. Um, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. We've got the star card there. Wanting to fix this, wanting to mend this, wanting to work on this, but doing it behind their back or doing it behind the scenes doing it in a in a sneaky way in order for you to have things come in for yourself yeah so um mm -hmm. yeah be careful of that because you don't want to do things behind someone else's back and then all hell breaks loose where with your person with your person there's confusion there is confusion naturally I mean them wanting to move forward but knowing that they it's like they're making effort to put up their boundaries of like I've got to make effort to stop myself from falling for this person or getting going too far with this person or getting too deep with this person there's confusion there uh, because there's acknowledgement of there being some form of emotional happiness going back to this sun card but again this acknowledgement of a three of cups having put work in but not being able to go the distance with the seven there and there is some form of realization or this kind of wake up call that they're having, which is kind of preventing, not preventing, which is making them feel doubtful. There we go with the four of cups, making them feel doubtful about being able to build something with you. And they're needing to process that. They're having to process that. It's like, how do I feel about that? Where do I go from here? Uh, is this true? Is this not true? It's that type of thing. I'm, I'm needing to process things. Yeah. So usually we move into part two of the reading. We get an idea and move to where this would go to. I will be implementing that in the next few weeks, guys. So look out for that. But as it stands, yeah, there's just certain things that you need to face in order for you to. It's, I mean, again, if it's coming from your end, Libra, it's like, okay, I might. Am I going to let this person know that I want to move out away from this? Or am I going to be sneaky and go behind the scenes? I feel like for a lot of you at this stage, you're, you're just, this is just too uncomfortable for you to face. So that you are going to make certain steps behind the scenes. Uh, just be careful with that though. Be careful with that though. Okay. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly uh, singles and love readings. I will be implementing the singles in the next few weeks as well, guys. So look out for that. Um, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.